coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next SDL 2.0 tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be learning about keyboard events. Uh, so for this tutorial we need to have three images. Don't worry about all these other images, these are for future tutorials. Uh, but I have a test.bmp uh, which is a white image, uh, the same thing, blue background um, and another one for a red background. You can have any three images you want, uh, but we just need three images for this tutorial or whatever any amount of images you want but we'll just go with three uh so what we're gonna do after we create our window um or you know what right here we're just gonna say sdl uh surface and we're going to create our window surface and i just want you to get in the habit of setting stuff to null pointer or at least setting it to null or something because it's always good to set something to a default value even if we know that we're going to set window surface to whatever later on we it's always good to do it because if you accidentally miss that step or something goes wrong with the execution um, at least um, you won't run into to serious problems so anyways we'll have our okay another surface we're going to say image one null pointer and feel free to put these in an array or vector if you want we're just going to say image two and we're gonna say image three. And last but not least, we're going to create a surface called current image. So simple enough. And so we initialize our our, um, our window our SDL for our video. We have our surface. I'm gonna say get window surface. And so what we're going to do is we're going to load each one of our images. We're going to say STL load BMP test bitmap image two equals to STL load BMP test one dot BMP and image three is equal to STL load BMP test two dot BMP. So we have all our images loaded and we're going to set our current image equal to image one. And so we have our Boolean and we have our, uh, we have our thing to actually pull our events, right? So in our event loop, what we want to do is check for some key presses and we want to say, okay, if you press a key, then we want to switch it to a different image. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, else if ev.type is equal to SDL key down so we have key down and key up and key down is immediately when you press the key down it's going to trigger this event and when we say key up it's when we press the key down and then we release it so uh, we'll be checking out both of them in this uh, tutorial but we're gonna say okay in order to actually get the key that was pressed we, we're going to put a switch statement. We're going to say ev.key.keysim. I think that stands for symbol. And then we're going to put symbol. Uh, what SYN. SYM. I'm, don't quote me on that if that's what it means. But I'm not exactly sure. But that's what I have in my mind. But um, that's what we're going to do. And once we do that, we're going to use case. We're going to use a case statement. And we're going to say, okay, SDLK. So SDL key, and we specify key we want to check for. So they have a bunch of different keys, uh, enums here. So we're just going to say if they press key one. So if they press the number one on the keyboard, we're going to set current image equal to image one. And don't forget to break. And so if they press the number two, we're going to set current image equals to image two, and we're going to break. And if they press three, then we're going to set it to the third image, image three. Okay, and that's that. So what we're going to do is we're going to say SDL blit surface, like we learned in tutorial three, I believe. And we're going to say current image, null, and have our window surface, and set that to null. 
and what we have to do what do we have to do every single time we create a surface we have to free it so free surface so our image one image two and image three so we have all three and then we destroy our window and we don't need to destroy the current image because our current image is set to one of these right and it's just a pointer equals to another pointer so we don't have to free that but what we're going to do is after we destroy everything we're going to say our current image is equal to image one equals to image two equals to image three and we're going to just set to null pointer and then we're going to set our window to a null pointer it's a good habit to have so that they don't become dangling pointers and so we're done so once we run this program we're going to say okay press the number two switches the images press the number three switches to that and number one it switches back to the regular one so now let's switch this to key up so right now i'm pressing number two i'm pressing it pressing it i'm holding it i'm holding it now i release it now you see it holding number three holding number three holding it down I release now you see it so it's up to you whichever one uh, you want to use or whichever one is right for your uh, situation but that's how we do we check for keyboard based events in SDO so I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe don't forget to like my page on Facebook follow on Twitter and also sign up on my website so that's it and bye for now